This is LXBN TV. I'm Colin O'Keefe, and joining me today is Eric Wackerlin, attorney with Kelly Dry and author on their blog, Fracking Insider. Today we're discussing two bans on hydraulic frac fracking in New York, uh, in the town of Middlefield and in the town of Dryden. Specifically, we're talking about how the acts were recently upheld by two lower court courts in the state. Uh, starting off, Eric, can you give me the backstory here? What exactly is going on? Well, um, you know, the, the Marcellus Shale uh, has recently seen probably the most um, intensive uh, pressure in the country, really, to, to drill for the natural gas and the unconventional resources. And along with that has come a lot of scrutiny, as, as I'm sure you've seen most recently. I'm not sure if you saw the Rolling Stone article or not, but the New York Times has covered it. And so, you know, it's a big controversy up here. And kind of coming up through the system have has been pressure by local towns and municipalities, not only in New York, but in Pennsylvania, too, to um, enact local ordinances um, and laws using using primarily their zoning authority to basically ban drilling within city limits. Um, it's largely been unsuccessful in at least in Pennsylvania and in West Virginia. Um, but New York is a little different story. Uh, the state has a has basically an effective moratorium in place at the statewide level on hydraulic fracturing um, horizontally. And so I think there's been a little bit more of a receptive audience within that state. So you have these two two bands are two among, I don't know, like 50 or so in New York that are um, either already in place or um, being proposed. And, uh, you know, they're working their way up through the court system. And, and so you see these two kind of middle court decisions that came out last week. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, you know these these bans have been upheld right now. But your post on the subject states that it's you know it's very likely that these two bans on fracking will be overturned. Why do you think that's the case? Well, I think if you look at the structure of the state law, you know, it's kind of a, it's a mini version of the federal to the state level. It's the state to the local level, and and you have this idea of of, of field preemption, which is where the legislature comes in over certain fields and says, um, you know, for, for a variety of reasons, legislative reasons, uh, you know, we're going to we're gonna exclusively be the level at which this activity is regulated. And that's happened in New York. There's a statute um, where the state basically says local municipalities can't regulate oil and gas activity. And if you read that statute, it's, it's very, very limited in the authority that's left over to the municipalities. They're basically left to enact zoning laws. Um, let me see here, I have it. On local roads or real property taxes. So those are the only two carve-outs. Other than that, they're prohibited from regulating. And, and I just, you know, if you look at the language of the statute, it's pretty clear. Mm -hmm. And the courts, you know, massage the idea of regulation and, and the municipal's authority. But, but I think if you look at simply the statutory structure here, uh, which is similar in every other state in the country, uh, you're going to find that the legislature, to give meaning to to the intent of uh, of field preemption, they're going to the the upper courts are probably going to overturn this decision. I see. Yeah, I mean, it looked like uh, the lower courts had drawn on some 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 curious precedents. Um, but but lastly, here, you know, going back to precedents again, does this case have a chance to set a major precedent and? And will fracking bans, you know, if they were to exist in places, would those have to come from the state level then? Well, that's a, that's a really good question. Um, a couple things, you know, you talk, we talk about this idea of fracking bans, and and you know, I think you need to take a step back and and look at what fracking is. It's a part of the process for which oil and gas is, you know, brought forth from way below the ground. So. So it's part of the drilling process. So you're so if you're talking about banning fracking, you're talking about really banning oil and gas drilling um, the way that it's done anymore, which is using hydraulic fracturing and horizontal drilling. So this idea of banning fracking, I'm not sure is, is the right terminology um, I, because then really you're talking about shutting down a huge industry, yeah. and I'm not sure that's going to happen. But yeah, to the extent you know moratoriums are put in place or um, 
you know, timeouts while studies go forward, that's going to have to come from the state level. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because, you know, you look at the New York statute and it's very similar, if not identical to the Pennsylvania statute and to most statutes across the country. Um, so where this, where the state legislature has reserved its authority to regulate, they can obviously put in place, you know, temporary or permanent moratoriums. So this idea that, that they can be kind of a piecemeal effort, I don't think is, is, going to catch fire anywhere else. Like I said earlier, I think New York's kind of unique in the way that it's going about this and the controversy is, is really intense up there. So national pres president setting, I, I kind of don't see it, I guess. I see. Well, it's going to be interesting to watch. As you mentioned, you know, this is a huge story right now. It's covered by a lot of major media entities. And I think uh, we're starting to see more and more of the public start to take interest in what's going on here. So it's going to be fascinating to watch as we, as we go forward. Uh, I think that's right. I think that's right. Well, once again, that was Eric Wackerlin of Kelly Dry and the Fracking Insider. For more on this story, be sure to check out Eric's post. It's at frackinginsider.com. And, of course, there's more on fracking at lxbn.lexblog.com. Thank you, Eric. Thanks, Colin.